What's going on guys? I've got a lot of greenery here. And I'm gonna show you guys today a food prep tip. We're gonna prep salad. Boring, I know, but I've got a couple cool things to show you guys. And this is gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of effort. And honestly, it's gonna be delicious and you're gonna thank me later. So come over here with me. We're gonna get this stuff washed up. Then we're gonna begin the prep. Let's go. All right, now what I do is I fill the sink with water and just throw all my green stuff in there. Because honestly, some of this stuff can get pretty dirty. What I do is just give it a good shake, pull it out, let everything drip off. Same thing. Because honestly, if you're gonna sit here and run everything underwater, it's never gonna get it all out. Now come in here and check this out. I mean, you could see there's a lot of dirt in there. <laughs> Right. That's definitely the fastest, most effective way to do that. So now I've got everything cleaned up and bring it back over here. All right, so what do we have here? Now, rather than just, just do the standard iceberg or romaine hearts, what I've got, I've got a couple heads of chicory. Now, chicory is a green, it's kind of like lettuce. It's not so, it's not like it's like a leafy green, like kale or anything like that. It's more mild in taste. It has a slightly bitter taste which is good because anything that's slightly bitter uh, or very bitter is generally good for your digestion. It's good for your liver. That's why you may recall seeing in health food stores, uh, formulations, Swedish bitters. Uh, anything bitter generally stimulates gastric juices, stimulates the liver and improves digestion. So good choice, more nutri nutri nutrient dense than, you know, like I said, a head of iceberg or whatever. So we've got that. We've got some nice green leaf and we've got watercress. That you don't see as often, huh? Watercress is definitely very good for cleansing the blood. It's got a nice peppery taste to it. And as part of this salad with the chicory, the green leaf and the watercress, and I've got some nice bell peppers. Now that's gonna make a really nice salad. Far more nutrient dense than if we were to just do some iceberg or some lousy whatever. And by prepping it all right now, we clean it once, we chop everything up once, and I've got all this Tupperware right here. And we're gonna, we're gonna do is we're just gonna load it up, stick it in the fridge, and then all week long when we want a salad, it's there ready for us. Rather than sit there and make a salad every time you need one, just total pain in the ass, a waste of time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna Put all these out. I just kind of line them up all around my cutting board. And as the stuff gets ready, I just load them up. I got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14. So if I was to have two salads a day, I've got enough right now for a week. We're gonna do it in a matter of minutes, so much easier. Anybody who's prepping food daily, I mean, you know, you're not gonna make in advance every meal, but 
If you're somebody who's eating five, six times a day, and you think you're gonna make all those meals that day, you're just setting yourself up for a failure because it's, a, it's just a huge waste of time. And honestly, anybody who's got a job, anybody who's got stuff to do, you're never gonna be able to do it. So what I like to do is, if I'm eating, you know, say six meals a day, I'll cook breakfast, I'll cook dinner, but I like to have those other four meals prepped in advance, or at least the components of them. Cook some chicken in advance, cook some fish in advance, get all the veggies ready. So I'm just gonna chop this stuff up. And honestly, the chicory is really, really good. It's flavorful. It's so much better than just eating plain, shitty lettuce. You know, and even buying, buying green leaf rather than buying like romaine hearts in bags or buying uh, iceberg, it's just way more flavorful. I mean, when I smell this right now, it smells like, wow. When I get that, like the romaine hearts or iceberg, it doesn't smell like anything. Probably because it's just void of nutrition. So, get some of this stuff chopped up. And then, you know, just put some chicory and some lettuce. Some chicory, some lettuce. I just go ahead and, you know, fill them all up. Leave room for the watercress and leave room for peppers. So much easier to do it this way instead of waiting until the day of or the meal, the time of the meal, which you're, you're ready to eat. You know, it, it, it helps to keep you on track doing it this way. Because let's be honest, we're all busy. If you're going to wait until it's time to eat, until you're hungry and you're ready to eat your meal, and then you're going to start prepping food, well, now all, all your, now the time just got pushed out. You're even hungrier when you sit down to eat. You're more likely to overeat. It's just better to do it in advance. And from a prep perspective, rather than clean this, you know, clean a small portion of chicory and lettuce each day, you just clean it all once, knock it all out. It just makes more sense. Just otherwise, just a waste of time. Got some watercress. Sometimes a couple of the ones on the outside get a little meh, so just get rid of those. You could actually smell the watercress. It has like a peppery smell, and it tastes peppery as well. And again, Kind of running out, that's okay. Then, got our peppers. You know, watch, sometimes you find mold inside them. Ick. Just go ahead and cut that, cut that off. I'm just gonna slice up all these peppers. They always say to try to eat the rainbow because any, any color is associated with certain phytonutrients and phytochemicals and antioxidants, so on and so forth. So 
eating colorful food, green, yellow, red, orange, purple, certainly a healthful way to eat. And it's also, also very visually appealing. Let me just mix these together a little bit. Let me just go around and add a little bit to each one. Now to go with this, I'm going to make a quick, simple, delicious, healthful dressing that you can make in advance, keep it on hand. Um, I even take it with me, you know, if I'm traveling, I got food in my cooler, I'll just throw the bottle in the cooler, take it with me. I don't really like buying bottled dressings because usually they're gross and they usually, I don't know, they add flavor enhancing things and oh, usually they're just made with inferior ingredients and I'd rather just make my own. So let me just clean this up. All right, so we blew out these salads. We did this super quick. Now what we're gonna do is a really simple, delicious salad dressing. Um, that we're gonna make it in bulk, we're gonna fill up a jar with it, and we're gonna have it on hand all week. So all it is is apple cider vinegar, honey, olive oil. What I do is I take some honey, and in a jar this size, I put in probably, let's see, I'm, I'm used to just going by eye, so. Uh, that's probably, I don't know if I had to guess, a quarter cup of honey. This is, is a, this is a 16 ounce jar. And then we're gonna add some apple cider vinegar. I always use Bragg because it's unpasteurized and they've been doing it the longest. There's no doubt that theirs is the best. So add the vinegar. We're gonna fill it up about halfway. Now, before I go ahead and add the oil, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake it up. The honey will dissolve much easier if you just do it with the vinegar first, as opposed to putting the oil in and then trying to dissolve it. Although it, it will work that way. Apple cider vinegar is awesome. Great for cleansing your lymphatic system. Good for digestion. It's got certain enzymes in it, especially this one because it's unpasteurized. Those enzymes are never killed off. Okay, that's just about all dissolved. And then we're just gonna add olive oil. We're gonna fill, up, fill it up the rest of the way with olive oil. It's a little bit foamy. Shaking the hell out of it. That's about perfect. Every time you're ready to use it, you just give it a shake. It's really, really, really delicious. It's got a nice tart flavor, but then the honey kind of balances it out a little bit. And, um, you know, the olive oil just makes it nice and Nice and rich and creamy. Perfect. So we've got a week's worth of salad, probably a week's worth of salad dressing. It probably took us a total of, I don't know, 15 minutes. Total time saver, plus the salad we made, peppers, watercress, green leaf lettuce, and chicory. Way more nutrient dense than a typical salad. And um, honestly, very, very tasty. So I'm just gonna put the lids on this and we're done. See you guys.